Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting international craft beers with Dr. Dave. No doubt about that. And now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Ooh, I got one here in my Beer of the Month Club, the Around the World Beer Club. Yeah, I haven't had this one for a while. It's from the Carlsberg Brewing Company. Now, they're located in Denmark. Don't ask me to pronounce the name of the city, but I'll put it in the description box for you, no doubt about it. And this is their Pilsner. Now, I tell you what, this beer on tap is super, super good. It is killer. Oh, my gosh. This beer, uh, the bottles, eh, sometimes you'll get a good one, sometimes not. Um, now, I'm trying to read the alcohol on here. Did I jot it down? Let me see. Oh, uh, man, that is so small. I can't read that. That's what happens when you get old. You know what? Getting old really sucks, but it beats the alternative because the alternative is you'll be down under or wherever you're going to go. Yeah, it's 5% of alcohol. I knew I wrote it down. And this is a 330 milliliter bottle, which we're the only country in the entire world, I should say industrialized world, that doesn't use metrics. So that translates to 11.2 ounces. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's going to be in my lifetime. I don't think it's going to be in the next 20 years or so. I just don't see the United States uh, going to metrics because, uh, yeah, uh, I worked with students for many years, and Americans just don't want to take the time to learn math. I don't have a Carlsberg cap with the – three-leaf clover on it. So, yeah, I think that's a three-leaf clover. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so I'll keep that, put it on the fridge. Now, I got high hopes for this beer. Where's my glassware here? They're over here, freshly washed and rinsed. You always want to thoroughly rinse your glassware with cold water after you wash. And please don't wash your glassware in the sink because it'll pick up all the residue from everything else that was in the sink. You'd have to have a, a darn spotless sink if you're going to have clean glassware. So anyway, um, a lot of people say this beer is skunky, and that's due to the green glass. Now, in the summertime, I'm going to go out on the patio, and I'm going to show you what the sun can do to the beer in a very short period of time. It's not, it's not pretty. It really is not pretty at all. Okay, now that did pour in a lot of head because I was running my gums. But it's okay. You can always put a stir stick right in there. And just don't get too rambunctious with it because it'll go up over the top and then you have a bloody mess. So this is a very beautiful, deep golden color. Now on the screen, it looks a little washed out. Uh, man, I do apologize. This, this monitor on this laptop is not as good as the ones I have on the side here. These are LG high definition monitors and the color's beautiful on them. But uh, at any rate, uh, it's got scant amount of carbonation. It didn't make a lot of head until I put the stir stick in there. Uh, so let's see if it's skunked or not. No, I'm not picking it up. But I was starting to say that skunkiness can happen when it's exposed to direct sunlight. Or even store lights will do that. Fluorescent lights will, will skunk a beer as well because it's in this green glass. You should always buy beer in brown or, if you can find them, black, painted black. Yeah, there's not too many beers on the market, though, that are, are black. But you should steer clear of uh, green and clear, that Corona. Mm. Anyway. Uh, this beer has a slightly uh, floral aroma to it, a little bit of grassiness, a little bit of grain in there. Let's go ahead and drink the beer. It came all the way from Denmark, as far as I know. I don't think it's brewed stateside. So cheers to everybody. No doubt. Uh, 
see that's that's a good balance of the hops and the malts. This beer is really uh, about a middle of the road beer, I would describe, but the quality that goes into this beer is superb in my estimation. Now, a lot of people don't like Carlsberg. They'll tell you straight out it's a cheap beer. I don't know who owns Carlsberg brand. Now, my good friend Jay Terrio in Louisiana Beer Reviews would most likely know. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to send him one of these and he can review it for himself. He's probably already reviewed it, but he can do it again or revisit. But yeah, I'll leave a link to uh, his channel in the description box. He is quite knowledgeable about breweries and who owns what brewery and so on and so forth. I haven't kept on, up on it in the past few years since I retired. I've kind of done other things, but he's extremely knowledgeable, and uh, he would know who owns this brewery. Like I said, this beer has a good balance of the hops and the malts. It's got a slightly sweet flavor from the malts in here. But it is a decent drinking beer. And like I said, if you're lucky enough to find this on tap, man, you are really going to like it. Now, it's left some nice lacing on the side of the glass there. there. Of course, that has a lot to do with the cleanliness of the glass. You can have the best beer in the world, but if your glass is filthy, you're going to have bubbles down here, just, just a beer clinging to the bubbles and lipstick. Oh, that's just nasty. You got to be careful when you go to a bar. Watch how they clean their barware. Yeah, the best thing is if they take the glassware and somebody runs it back to the kitchen in an automatic dishwasher. And then when it comes out, they take the glass and put it over the cold water and the cold water runs up into it. That kind of bar there cares about its customers and the beer they serve. If they're just washing it in that three-sink method and then they're not rinsing it before they give it to you, you might want to think twice because you're drinking somebody else's mess. And that's gross, isn't it? Isn't that gross? Yeah. That's a very doable beer. But I tell you, man, I really can't forget those times I had it on tap. So if you're lucky enough to get Carlsberg on tap, go for it. Or even in a mini keg. If it's in a mini keg, you're going to love that beer. But as it's presented here, this is a good beer. This is a good backyard picnic beer. Go with the backyard barbecue. There's nothing wrong with this beer. Don't listen to everybody. Don't believe everything you hear. All right, then. Life is short. Let's be happy. And to that end, try new things like this beer from Carlsberg out of Denmark. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you. The very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. 
Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway, they have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website, and all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club. So I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the best damn beer shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So 
I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know. The price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.